that I'm going to show you is how your teachers have set up their courses. I'm going to show you how to um, kind of navigate the courses that your teachers have set up for you. In my big campus, if you remember correctly, teachers kind of set their groups or their classes up in very different ways. Some teachers used it one way, other teachers used it another. And as students, we know it was a little difficult for you to figure out exactly where you were supposed to find your things. So what we've done um, to try to make that a little easier for you is we've set up a way that we want teachers to set up their courses. And all of your courses should be set up in a similar way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you both the web and the app version for this. So I'm going to do the web version first. And let's get logged in here. Notice it didn't ask for my school anymore because I had done that. Okay, so here we are back on that settings page. Um, and you notice when you're on your iPad, it is always going to prompt you to open your stuff in the app. Um, you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, it's, like I said, you're going to pick what you are most comfortable doing. Okay, so I'm going to go back here to the, the landing page here, the settings page. There we go. And I'm going to go into courses. I'm going to go into Abby's demo course because that's the only one that we have here. And you'll notice here um, you see a home page pop up. This home page is going to be very important that um, you look for this when you go into your courses. Every teacher is going to design a home page that's similar to this one for their courses. You'll notice the home page will have a banner at the top that tells you what the course is. It'll have a little description about what the course is. It'll tell you who your teacher is of that course. Then when you get down here, this is where it's going to change just a little bit. We gave teachers the choice to share their information, what you're doing in class, your lessons, um, in three different ways. This teacher chose to share by current unit so that when you click on this current, that button that says current unit, it's going to take you through what's called a module that's going to walk you through um, what you're doing with that topic, that whole topic. Some teachers may have a button right here that says current lesson. That means your teacher's putting on day by day what they want you to do. So a unit is more of like a long term, a week thing, maybe even longer. A lesson is more of like a one day thing. Um, they also might have a button that says to click here to access our course calendar. A teacher may choose to put everything on your calendar and that's okay too. So um, they have choices in that way but there will be a big giant button in the middle that tells you how to access your um, content for that course. Then in addition you're going to have three buttons at the bottom. The first button navigate this course that's going to be a little one to two sentence um, just explanation telling you how your teacher has his or her course set up. Now they all should be really similar, but if there's any variances, this is where you're going to find it out. So if you can't figure out where something is, you probably want to click on that button to find it. All teachers are going to have a button that says parent and student information. What that button does is it gives you access to things like your newsletters for the course or maybe helpful websites for the course. So all that stuff will be stored in there. Finally, this third button is going to allow you to contact um, the teacher. Um, so it'll have information about email. Always you can send them an inbox message through Canvas, um, maybe their Twitter handle if they have one. So that's what the home page looks like. One more thing here down at the bottom, you're going to see this little note about grades. Remember I told you that if you clicked on the grades, um, here at the top, that's only your grades within Canvas. So if you want to see your full course grade, you need to do so by going to PowerSchool still. Um, so that is how the course homepage is set up. Now over here to the side, this is called your course navigation. Remember this was called your global navigation and it's always there no matter where you go. This is called course navigation and this information is specific to the course you're in. 
So because we're in this demo course, all of these things only access the demo course. Abby's math course or science course or English course, all of those courses have their own course navigation in them and you'd have to go into that course in order to get to them. So when she's going in here, she's only going into what course she's in. So obviously this is the home button. There's a button for announcements. Notice my global navigation stayed the same. Um, announcements, you can see Abby has an announcement here. We'll talk more about announcements later. You see assignments. Um, there's assignments there for this course only. You see discussions. And there's a discussion there. We could open that up and we'll talk more about discussions in just a little bit. There's pages. Um, it's going to come directly to this home page, but you can click on this button to view all pages in the course. So if you want to go through and just find a specific page that you're looking for that you think your teacher has put in this course, you can get it from there. Files. These are files for this course. Files for this course only. There's their syllabus. Um, your teachers may attach a syllabus um, to your course, and if they do, it's right there. In the middle school, you'll definitely have that. Fifth grade, maybe not. Here's quizzes. Your teachers can assign you to take quizzes within Canvas. And then this is modules. Remember I told you that this teacher chose to link um, to a current unit. Current unit is a module, so that's what this looks like. Um, I'm going to go actually go back to the home page to show you how to access this. Click that current unit. It's going to pop up to the same page, but I wanted to show you that's where your teacher has that. And then to go into the module, you'll just click on the first one, and you'll see that this teacher wants you to start by taking a quiz. Now, I'm in the web version, and this is what's great about the web version. See this little next button down here at the bottom? This is going to let you move through the module by hitting this next button. So when I hit that, it's going to go to the next activity within the module. So here it is, some links to visit. And then if I hit that next button again, it's going to load the next page of the module. And um, so you'll see how you can work your way through it this way through the web. Those next buttons are key. If I need to go back, I just hit the previous button and it takes me back. You're not going to see that in the app. So right now, let me go into the app and show you how this course setup and course navigation is going to look just a little different. So I'm going into the app now. In Abby's course, I'm going to click on Demo Course. And there you see, there's my course navigation that pops up here. Um, the home page is the same. You see that looks pretty much the same. So we can get to that same um, that same current unit here. You see all of the same exact um, features that were in the course navigation on the web, on the app. Here's where it's a little different. For your modules, when you hit click on that current um, unit, it's going to pull up the module there. So I'm going to click on that. If I click on the first item in here, let's take a quiz, right? What do you notice missing? There is no next button. So in a, if you're using it on the app, the next button's not going to be there. You're going to have to manually go through to the side and, and go advance to the next ones that way. It's not really necessary to have a next button because it's all right here and you can just go previous or you can go next. But that's a little bit different, so I didn't want you coming in and thinking, oh my goodness, where's my next button? Um, it's not going to be there on the app for a module. So that's the basic setup of your um, courses, how they would look on through the web, and how they would work, look through the app. Um, in, some, in our next videos, we're going to talk about more about how to use the features in your course navigation. Um, this was just an overview of how your pages would be set up.